What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dr. Come Back to Real Takes. So, well, it's so the time you guys have some movie review time, and this is for the movie titled Prey. Now, I'm just going to say straight off the top, this is a spoiler-free review. <laughs> Don't want to spoil anything for anyone. I recommend you see this. So I'm just going to just put that out there from the beginning. Now, I will say this. I was bummed that this was not going to be showcased in the theater. I think hence from the one that came out in 2018 set that little tone because <laughs> it was not good. And with the cast and everything, I was really bummed by that. I know it was directed by Shane Black, no offense to him, but it really was not good. I truly am a fan of the original starring that epic cast at the helm, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And of course, you know, we got the uh, sequel, which was done and was in, I think, 1990 with uh, Danny Glover. Love that one. I did love Predators. that came out in 2010 with Lawrence Fishburne and Adrian Brody. But like I said, the one that came out a couple of years back, I really thought it was going to be a resurgence where we would get you know, more Predators, you know, to continue the franchise. But when that one did not do good, it kind of fizzled out. And I think they were kind of iffy about that. So we ended up getting it where it had to be streamed. They would rather not take the chance. But in the instance, when I saw the trailer, I was really like, dang, I really hope this would be in the theaters. But when it said, of course, Hulu, then you just kind of just, it is what it is. So directed, of course, by Dan Trackenberg, um, of course, from 10 Cloverfield Lane. I'm a fan of his work. So that kind of gave me excitement with, okay, the potential. Also starring uh, Amber um, Mind Thunder, excuse me, she plays uh, the lead cast on this, is Naru. I will say off before I get into it, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this film immensely. I will say that once I watched it, I think I watched like the last hour again by itself, just, you know, to get it. Because as I will say, moving into now my review, it's like a slow build up, and I don't mind that. I like how they set the tone for the overall storyline. Now, when we get into the story real quick, it is, of course, going back 300 years. So I would say set, I think, like around 17, 1700s, early 1700s. And it's dealing with the world, what do I want to say, um, in regards to the world of uh, Comanche Nation, if I'm saying it correctly, I hope so. And I like how you see her. She's definitely a uh, very strong, well, strong-spirited and wants to be a hunter. Now, she is being taught to be a healer, doing aspects of like that to help within the tribe, but she foresees herself being able to do other things. Now, I noticed um, in the trailer, you do see it in the film where it looks like something's nicely cloaked within the sky. She thinks it's some sort of, I think, want to say like some sort of thunderstorm or whatever and all that that's probably giving her um, a feeling like this is probably her time now that she can somewhat shine within the group, you know, with the guys and and be seen that she can do a little bit more than just being a healer. She wants to hunt and all that. Now I will say you, you do see scenes where they try to utilize her and it's more so her brother whose uh, name is, I want to say, I'm going to have to write some of these names down just to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Ta'abe, I hope I'm saying that's correctly, played by Dakota Beavers. He was great. And I like how he kind of knows that, okay, you know, certain instances happen in the film where like, okay, you need to prove yourself with her and all that. She's kind of like a little bit of a tracker at times. So they utilize that. So I actually enjoy seeing those scenes where she can prove some to others. I will say this. I was surprised that we didn't get to see them do their native language in this one. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes a lot of people are not here for the native and don't want to see the subtitles. I, didn't, I don't mind either way, but it's fine. I just was kind of surprised that they didn't do a lot of that. You see a couple of times here and there, just, you know, to kind of throw up, but it wasn't that throughout the actual film. Now, I will say one thing with her in regards to the overall story with uh, her and dealing with the uh, guys in the tribe, she has approved herself. And there's times where with the fight scenes in there done very well. And there's a scene where she has to go up against, I want to see Wasape who played his real name. I think is what is it? I wrote Stormy Kit is his real name. And there's a scene with those two. And I like that. So I was glad they didn't make her where she's just so fragile, where she can't hold her own. And she does hold her own very well in one, that one particular scene. So when you watch the film, you'll kind of understand where I'm coming from. Now, when we get uh, introduced to this predator, this, of course, if you're remembering, this is the first time we see the ever evolved predator who lands on Earth. And the way they do it, it's almost, you know, <laughs> just appears, you know, you see, like I said, that cloaked in the sky and you think it's some sort of storm, but it's, oh no, it's not. It looks like a ship and literally dropped off, hence how they've done in previous films. And pretty much, you know, hunting, watch, watching certain creatures. There's a scene with one particular animal, very graphic. I know they were going to go there, but they did. You know, it, it goes up here in comparison with how they did in the original a little bit here. You're going to get some scenes that are, are graphic and 
it is what it is, you know, and I was, I'm glad it didn't hold back in that. Also noticing with Naru just trying to hone her skills. So if the time comes, you know, she would have to enhance as the time goes on within the film, she has to show case those skill sets that she proved, you know, and just doing her stuff by herself with her trusted companion and then also proving herself, you know, when she got in her situation, altercation, whatever, with one of the uh, guys from the tribe. I will say as time goes on, you do see where she gets in a, a moment where she comes across and of course with that scene of y'all saw on the trailer with the bear. And that's kind of where you see her trying to explain or tell them there's something else out here. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to believe her. You got to find out the hard way. And when they found out the hard way, again, graphic. <laughs> and, you know, other things, other people are out there hunting, you know, killing animals. And then, you know, she, you know, eventually is caught. And then that's when things really start to pick up. And then moving from that, all the scenes you see a little bit of how they showcase in the trailer are done. I like how the predator uses their actual weapons on them and done so effortlessly. And I want to showcase the actual actor who's in there. I might post his face up here too. Uh, his name who plays actual Predator. His name is Dane DiLiegro. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. My apologies, I'm not. He's been in some other things. He's actually, um, what is it? I want to say in a couple episodes of uh, Netflix's Sweet Home. So I'm like, okay. It's like, you working, working, working. So love that. Now, I will say this, just to laugh at it, somebody might say something in the comments. I had a couple of friends who just noticed it and had to bring it to my chest. Like, oh, he looks definitely skinny. And, you know, and I'm like, this is not the predator that was in the original. This is going to be a predator that's evolving. And as time goes on, they probably evolve in their overall look as well. But this one being definitely tall, a little bit more leaned out in the overall look aesthetic. Yes, I don't want it to look exactly like the original. It's not supposed to be. This is 300 years prior, you know, hence from how I think they were doing it from when the Predator is the last film that was 2018. So pretty much going all the way back, like I said, 300 years to showcase we were getting the first look of what would have been the Predator at that time in the era of the early 1700s. So I didn't care about that. I said, you know, it's kind of going with the way they're doing the origin story. It's fine. Skill set was good. The way uh, the overall helmet looks, whatever, with the beams, definitely something different, unique. You all saw it on It's not like I'm giving anything away with that. Again, all the action sequences uh, with all the other, you know, people and also the ones with Naru. Because it comes to the point where who's the prey, who is the hunter, really? And I like how you will see her go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Love the scenes when they showcase that. I thought that was done very well. And... I just feel Amber, uh, my daughter, she did a great job. You know, at first, you know, a little bit naive in certain instances and all that, but she has to learn. She has to um, quick wit stuff. I love conversations she had with the guy who plays her brother, played by D Dakota Beavers. I love their scenes. He was a scene stealer in one or two uh, scenes in it that I really enjoyed, uh, especially the, between him and his, his sister, you know, showcasing, you know, trying to work together and him trying to help her. Really liked it. So like I said, he really was good. I really enjoyed both of their characters in this film. So yes, and just a kudos to uh, Dane playing Predator. I thought he did an amazing job. Now, my rating out of a 10, I'll give it an 8. Now, um, I know some people are like, oh, it's a, you know, so of course, it's kind of like a slow burn, but I like that. You're trying to flush out these characters see amongst, you know, how they're living, you know, all the, you know, nature and all that they're out there and then being introduced to something that you've never seen that is pretty much there seeing what's going on, hunting is going to hunt you. It, 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 yeah. I wanted that to be like that. I'm not expecting it to be straight out. I'm going to get some sort of action right away. That's the, that doesn't always happen in every film and that's fine. I like it. Sometimes I like it like that. And with this one, they had to do that to flush out her character a little bit more and realize the potential of what she can do to deal with whatever this is she's never seen before and all. And I love that. So, and, and again, I did enjoy this film. I plan probably to watch it again, probably the next day or two, because I really did enjoy this film. So I'm just curious what's going to happen from here on out. If they're going to eventually progress and go, you know, to the next part of it, mind you, it's going to have to go in order since this is considered origin and then predator and the predators too. So we'll see. I, if a lot of people like this, well, who knows, Dan might come back and do the next one to kind of continue the franchise. We'll see how much people really enjoy this, but I can say for myself, I did. So with that said, comment below, let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next, next review. <laughs> you guys take care.